Hi, I'm Lee Partridge, and welcome back to Cole UTV for another pre-match show. Ahead of today's game against Harrogate. On the show today, we'll get the pre-match thoughts from Alex Woodyard. We'll take a look at the highlights and the goals from that fantastic win against MK Dons. Also, we'll look back at a previous game against Harrogate. We'll go back to January in 2023. But first, let's get the pre-match thoughts from our head coach, Danny Cowley. Danny, it's been a clear week uh, between games this week, which is rare at this time of the season, but how have the lads uh, adapted to a, a training week? Yeah, I think it's been a good week for us. Um, it, was a great, it was a great weekend. Um, I think the 16s and the 18s beat Coventry. Um, we obviously won at MK Dons. The 21s then on Monday um, gave us a clean sweep, beating, beating Birmingham 3 0 at, at St Andrews and literally run all over them. And some of the young players did, did really, really well. So it was a good weekend and good teams always back it up. You know, we, we were pleased with the way that we responded off the back of the Wimbledon game. I thought the, the focus was really good from the group. Um, but good teams, when they do well, and we did well at Reading and then we did well at MK Dons, they, they back it up. So now we've had a, had a good week of preparation. I think that the Harrogate game comes at a great time. Another home game. Very rarely do you have four home games on the trot, but this is, uh, this is, this is great for us because we, we love playing at home in front of our supporters and hopefully they enjoyed the Reading game and the MK Dons game and yeah, we have a chance to, to, to play in front of them again this weekend. Yeah, and obviously it's another week where there's three games. Does that come into your thinking at all or do you just work on Saturday before the other two games? Well, I think it's a great week for us because we have three really good games. We play, play Harrogate Town at home um, in a really important league fixture. We then have um, Brentford, the Premier League club, coming in the Carabao Cup second round and then a really quick turnaround, that being on the Wednesday and then us having to travel Friday um, to, to Accrington to play on the Saturday. So um, it's going to be a busy week. It's going to require the whole squad, which is good because we've got, we've got a lot of faith in the whole group. Um, and there's a lot of boys in good form, playing well, putting their hands up. Like I said, on the, on, the, on the Monday after the MK Dons game, the young boys, Frankie Terry scored. Oscar Fong was, was, was terrific um, in that game. Milton Oni, who'd had a great week, backed it up with another really good performance. Um, himself and, and young Alfie Bendel con controlled the midfield as well. So there's a lot of good performances. There's a lot of people, like I said, in a, in a, in a good moment. And yeah, it, it will need the whole group next week. And uh, yeah, this has been good because it's given people a real focus this week in, in preparation for that. And Harrogate, obviously a side that did pretty well last season. I think Simon Weaver has been there 15 years, longest serving EFL manager. So you must have a lot of respect for what he's done there at you know, traditionally not a, a long-standing EFL club. Absolutely. I think it's a, a really unique story. Obviously, um, Simon's dad's the, the owner um, and Simon, obviously, the manager, and they've come through the non-league and, and are now a, a very, very competitive um, League Two team. I think they were right on the edges of the playoffs all last season and uh, there's a lot to like. I think they have a really humble, hard-working group, very, very competitive with, with a lot of quality as well. We went there quite early in our tenure last, last year and uh, yeah, actually played really, really well, but they still found a way to win and this is what they, 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 they do. And yeah, last year just missed out on the, on the playoffs. No doubt this year they want to be in and around the promotion places and we, uh, we anticipate a, a really tough, a tough game against a good team with, with a lot of good players. Yeah. Will it be a different test completely to MK Dons or will there be similarities in what you have to do? Well, I think this is what's great about, about the EFL that week to week the games can look so different and the challenges, the consequences are, 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 are varying. And, um, I think MK are a team that have a clear identity, want to really dominate the ball. I think Harrogate are a team that can mix it up. We saw them against Bromley where they play a 4-2-3-1 and they're trying to play through the pitch and uh, overload you in central areas. They've got boys like Thompson and, and Matt Daly who are uh, really good at speeding the game up off the back foot. And then off the back of the Bromley game in the last two games, they went to Lincoln and beat Lincoln away and played with a back five, didn't come out played on transition and were a real counter threat with, with James Daly and uh, Sam following as, 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 as two forwards that, 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 that 
that chase lost causes, run the spaces, and 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 yeah, they were well deserving of their win against Lincoln, and then they. Uh, they had, a, had, a, had another really competitive performance against Atkinson at the weekend away from home. So, um, yeah, great for us because I think we're a group that's quite early in our development. Um, we overcome the challenges of Reading, who are a really high-pressing team. We overcome the challenges of MK Dons, who are a really possession-based team. We now have a different challenge against Harrogate and they're going to ask different questions and we'll have to find different solutions. And um, it's been great for us this week to, to get back on the grass. And I think my the overriding feeling from Saturday was that we were able to beat MK Dons while there's still loads to improve on. And I think that's why we were so pleased that like we were able to win but still, there was lots to work on and to improve on. And yeah, we've spent this week, um, yeah, just trying to make small inroads into to trying to be better than yesterday, ultimately, and to keep trying to develop the the, the players individually and uh, the, the tactical idea collectively. Yeah, and away from the actual training ground itself, out on the pitches, Lewis Richardson coming in uh, and talking to the guys. How did that go down with an hour? Yeah, brilliant. It was, um, I remember saying to you, I'd, I'd obviously followed all, all of his fights and I'd watched him beat the Serbian guy in the first round. And then um, he uh, so competitive. I thought he was so unlucky to lose the, um, the, the, the semi-final. Um, but what an achievement to get, to get a bronze medal. And then when I heard him speak, obviously I knew he was a Colchester boy. Um, and I heard him speak, I think, maybe for BBC Radio 5, and uh, he just spoke with such humility. And I thought, oh, wow, this boy's got a really good story and there's some really good learning for our young players to take. So then I think I spoke to you and I said, we've got to find a way of getting, get, getting him to the training ground because I think he could be really, really inspiring. And he came in on Tuesday. We had, yeah, he watched us train. We had some lunch with him and then he just told his story just... What a brilliant story, come from a working class background, um, loved football as a young person, didn't even, like, mum and dad didn't have a car, so he couldn't play football as a young person. It wasn't until he was about 10 that he was able to find a team and then had the transport to get around and kind of just fell, loved football, started as a centre forward, ended up as a centre half, um, told some really good stories around that and then yeah, just fell on boxing really and something that he was, he was really good at. But the discipline and the commitment that he's had to show um, to get through the qualifiers, you know, his Olympic dream was almost taken away from him because his weight was, 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 was taken out of, the, out of the Olympics. So he then had to, tr had to try to find a way of fighting at 71 kilograms. Well, when you're six foot two, this takes a huge amount of discipline um, and commitment. And he's had to train incredibly hard you know, strip his body weight down, be really, really disciplined in terms of the f his food intake. And uh, yeah, just to hear about the hard work that went in just to get to the Olympics and then to obviously medal. And he, he showed the boys his medal. The medal went round the, the group. And uh, yeah, I always think success leaves clues. And whenever we can get, especially boys that come from the area and um, have lived similar lives to ours. You know, we've got a lot of boys in, a lot of young players that are trying to become elite athletes themselves. And uh, yeah, it was so great for him to come and we so appreciated his time. And the best part of it all, he just, he, 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 that morning, he'd been back to his local gym and just done a spinning class, just like a council run gym, gym, um, and just so down to earth. And uh, no hairs and graces and just, uh, he had been there. He said, he, he, he actually said that they stopped and gave him a standing ovation, which he absolutely deserved. And yeah, he's definitely got supporters in all of us now and we're looking forward. Hopefully we might get to, as he, as he, as he I no doubt he's going to turn professional at some point. We um, hopefully we'll be able to get and watch one of his fights. And uh, the boys were, were keen to ask him about, yeah, about his boxing and I think Alex Woodyard liked his boxing and Samson as well. Samson was asking about street fighting, which was, I'm not sure if he was offering him out, but it was, um, it was uh, no, we had some good fun with, 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 with Lewis and we were, yeah, we were so proud and, and so appreciative of him coming in and, and speaking to the boys. The thoughts from Danny Dare saying, once again, looking forward to playing another home game at home and having so many 
all on the trot. Uh, really looking forward to it. And while we're talking about the home game, that atmosphere against MK Dons, fantastic. And a big special mention to everyone that was involved in the flag display, just adding even more of an atmosphere to the game. Talking of the game, let's take a look at those goals and those highlights from the MK Dons game. Great performance, great atmosphere, and most importantly, our first three points on the board in the league for us this season against MK Dons. Goals from Arthur Reid and Jack Payne, making it two goals and three assists for Jack in just the first three games. So a fantastic start for him with us here at Colchester United. Now it's time to get the pre-match thoughts going back to today's game against Harrogate, and this is Alex Woodyard. Alex, busy first couple of weeks of the season. Uh, how are the lads are coping with it, and how are they looking forward to Saturday? Yes, um, been a busy start, busy schedule. Um, always a good thing, though. I'd rather play games than train. Um, got three games now in a week coming up. Uh, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. Bit of uh, travelling away to Aki as well, which will be tough. But um, now the boys are looking forward to it, and um, especially at home on, when we play uh, against Harrogate at home on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, we, we spoke to Tom Flanagan and, and he's kind of wanting to put Brentford out of his mind because obviously you've got to concentrate on Saturday. Is there any, anything that will be uh, playing on your mind or is it literally that? What about Wednesday? Yeah. To be honest, I ain't really thought about it. I think the league game is probably for us. Um, is the, the next game is always the most important. Uh, we'll get Saturday out of the way then. Um, I'm sure Wednesday will be a great night for the football club. Um, welcoming the Premier League side down and also we'll go into that looking to, to win that game as well so uh, the next game is always the most important so we're, we're fully focused on uh, Harrogate. And when you, when you get a great result like we did last weekend is it even better to build on it rather than waste it and uh, not do the business this Saturday? Uh, yeah, um, all good teams you know they, they back, back wins up and um, you know there's we can't you know, all of a sudden think we're a good team because we won one game. We've got to, we've got to back that up and uh, go again Saturday. And um, It will be a tough game because they, they did all right last year, didn't they? So, um, no, nah, everyone's looking forward to it. Um, training's been good this week, so uh, we're fully focused on Saturday. And personally, how are you feeling? Because obviously you missed a bit of pre-season. Uh... Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel all right. Yeah, just happy to, be, uh, happy to have played the last two games. And... Um, just trying to play as much football as possible, really, and um, help help the team um, pick results up. 
and it is very early on, but MK Dons were a team that everyone fancied, so is it nice to compare yourself against them and, and know you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like that? Yeah, it was, um, we knew it would be a tough game um, against MK, because they're always up there, aren't they? They're a team probably, uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of people would say will be up for automatic promotion, but obviously I, I think we were, we were the better side on the day, to be honest. Uh, we looked a lot fitter than them, and um, we fully deserved the, the, fr the three points. A very relaxed, laid-back Alex Woodyard there, but uh, as we know, giving absolutely everything at 100% to the cause for Colchester United, which he will be hoping to do once again today. All the latest team news, go across to the website or our socials, and you can uh, catch up with who Danny has picked today. Now it's time to take a look back at a previous Harrogate game. We're going to go back to January 2023. Goals from John Akindi, Noah Chilvers and Junior Shamadu saw us over the line. And let's take a look at those right now. Three points and three goals. We'll certainly be looking for some more of that today against Harrogate. Uh, that's nearly it for me. Just to remind you that the team news is on the website and on the socials. Tickets are available for next week's cup game against Brentford, which I will be back for another pre-match show. But until then, get your programmes and get yourself out there. Cheer on the lads and hopefully another three points for us here at Colchester United. Enjoy the game. Until next time, up the use. It's goodbye for now.